If you've ever used a pressure cooker before, whether it's the old school stovetop kind that rattles and hisses, or the modern electric ones that beep politely, you've probably wondered how this simple kitchen tool can cook food so fast. You put in your ingredients, lock the lid, apply heat, and somehow it transforms tough cuts of meat into tender stew in minutes. It sounds almost magical, but behind that magic is a clever bit of physics happening right on your stove. And by the end of this video, you'll understand pressure cookers in a whole new way, all happening right here on History of Simple Things. First, let's look at the most important feature of a pressure cooker, the sealed environment. Unlike regular pots where steam can easily escape, a pressure cooker is designed to trap that steam inside. The moment you close the lid and lock it in place, you've essentially created a miniature steam chamber. This sealed space is what allows pressure to build, but pressure doesn't just appear out of nowhere. It starts with heat and water. Inside the cooker, water begins to heat up, just like in any pot. At first, nothing unusual happens. The water reaches its normal boiling point, around 100 degrees Celsius or 212 degrees Fahrenheit. But here's where things change. In a regular pot, once water boils, it keeps boiling at that same temperature no matter how long you cook it. That's because the steam escapes freely keeping the pressure at normal atmospheric levels. But in a pressure cooker, that steam has nowhere to go. It's trapped beneath the locked lid. And as more steam forms, it pushes harder and harder against the walls of the cooker. This increasing steam pushes on everything, on the food, on the lid, and especially on the safety valve. This constant push is what we call pressure. And when pressure rises, it affects the boiling point of water. Normally, water boils at 100 degrees Celsius. But if you increase the pressure, water can stay liquid at much higher temperatures, 117 degrees Celsius, 120 degrees Celsius, even up to 125 degrees Celsius, depending on the pressure cooker. That higher temperature is the real power behind fast cooking. But let's dig even deeper into how the pressure actually builds. Imagine the steam as tiny, energetic water molecules that want more space as they heat up. In an open pot, they escape as bubbles and vapor. Inside a pressure cooker, though, they crash into the lid and walls, building up force. This trapped energy increases both temperature and pressure at the same time. The more heat you apply, the more steam is produced, and the more pressure builds, until the pressure cooker reaches its design limit. That limit is usually controlled by a regulator or a safety valve, depending on the model. Older stovetop cookers have a jiggler or weight that rattles when the pressure reaches its maximum. That rattling isn't just noise, it's the cooker releasing just enough steam to keep the pressure stable. It's a safety mechanism that prevents the cooker from building too much pressure. Modern electric cookers, on the other hand, have digital sensors that automatically maintain the ideal pressure inside. You may not see or hear anything happening, but the same physics applies. Steam builds, pressure rises, and the cooker locks it at the perfect level. Now, why does this higher pressure cook food so much faster? Well, the answer lies in temperature. Food softens, breaks down, and absorbs flavors better at higher heat. But since water can't exceed 100 degrees Celsius in a normal pot, cooking certain foods takes a long time. The pressure cooker changes this rule. With pressure holding the steam inside, the boiling point rises, and that hotter steam penetrates food more efficiently. 
tough proteins break down quicker, starches gelatinize faster, and fibers soften without losing moisture. Essentially, your meal gets cooked from both heat and steam pressure, speeding up the entire process. What you end up with is very fast cooking, but without drying out the food. In fact, pressure cookers are great at retaining moisture because nothing is evaporating away. The steam that would normally escape from an open pot is forced back into the food. That's why stews taste more concentrated and meats turn melt-in-your-mouth tender without long hours of simmering. But let's slow down a bit and look at what's happening inside the cooker during those intense few minutes. As the pressure rises, the lid becomes the tightest point of the entire system. The rubber gasket, or silicone ring in newer models, forms an airtight seal that keeps steam locked in. Under this sealed environment, every bubble of steam adds to the pressure. The volume inside the pot doesn't change, so as long as heat continues to enter the system, the pressure continues to climb. This is why good sealing is crucial. If the gasket is worn out or the lid isn't properly aligned, the cooker won't build pressure. It'll behave just like a regular pot with steam escaping through the gaps. Once the cooker reaches the correct pressure, the cooking environment stabilizes. Even though the heat source stays on, the cooker balances pressure by releasing small amounts of steam. That's why you might hear gentle hissing from a stovetop pressure cooker. It's not a sign of danger, it's just the pressure maintaining its ideal level. Electric cookers handle this quietly using internal sensors and automatic heating adjustments. Now let's talk about what happens after cooking. When you turn off the heat, the cooker still has high pressure inside. If you tried to force the lid open immediately, it would be extremely unsafe. That's why every pressure cooker has a safety lock that prevents the lid from opening until the pressure inside drops back to normal. As the cooker cools, the steam condenses into water, decreasing the pressure naturally. This is called natural release. It's slow, but perfect for foods that need gentle settling time, like soups or braised meats. There's also the quick release method where you manually open the valve to release steam immediately. When you do that, boiling steam rushes out, rapidly lowering the pressure. This method is used when you want precision, like preventing vegetables or pasta from overcooking. Either way, the pressure drop is just as important a part of the process as the pressure buildup. You might be wondering, what would happen if there were no safety features? Well, early pressure cookers, long before modern standards, sometimes failed because they lacked reliable pressure control. Today, every pressure cooker has multiple safety features, locking lids, pressure regulators, backup relief valves, and sometimes even automatic shutoff systems. So even though the idea of cooking with high pressure sounds intimidating, modern pressure cookers are designed to make it safe and predictable. So the next time you hear that gentle hiss or see the steam venting from the valve, remember what's happening inside. That rising pressure is pushing the boiling point higher, heating everything beyond what's possible in a normal pot and forcing moisture deep into your food. It's science and cooking working together inside a simple sealed container sitting on your stove. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our other bingeable channels. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.